Jeff Roper here, and look at this beautiful sunrise on the TV. This is this is just gorgeous. And if this is what we end up with, you know, for the next three months, I could handle it. Isn't this beautiful? I love waking up to the sunset. I know. Or sunrise with you guys. I know. It's, it's just the best part of getting the day started. You know that everything's going to be okay, and we got you, and the sun is beautiful. It's a little chilly, Clark. 36. And we've got not much of a breeze. The sun is on the way up here at about 710 officially. If you're riding a cheese wagon this morning, I'm talking to the little kids, knee high to grasshoppers and on up to high school, 28 at the bus stop. So you'll be chilling about 24 degrees. It's 35 in Driggs. Uh, we got 23 in Island Park, uh, 29 in Arco and 33 in Burley and 32 in Pocatello at this hour. And this is our current satellite radar. We'll push this front through, get some streaming clouds across the area, but a clear day today until we get rain in here for Friday and Saturday changing over to snow. Currently in Jackson, it's 24. It feels like it is 16 degrees. Can you hear my teeth chattering? That is just unbelievably cold as you step on the Buffalo Way there with a breeze out of the north at about seven miles an hour. By the way, I'll tell you right now, we are Facebook Live on our Local News 8 Facebook page right now. So you get to see behind the scenes of what happens. And we really love it when you share things with us. I'll give you your assignment for the day coming up here. Uh, but temperatures this morning in the 20s and 30s. And by the afternoon, we'll be into the 70 degree range. The winds are going to pick up later on with some fronts. We're going to have 10 to 15 miles mile an hour winds as we get into Friday. They pick up even more about 30 miles an hour into Saturday morning and then we're going to have a double whammy of low pressure which creates that snowfall for us and could make some real depth as we get into portions of our weekend. So for the overnight hours, uh, we'll start to see teens and 20s into next week with temperatures that will only get into the 30s. So here we are into Friday afternoon with mountain showers for Coeur d'Alene and the pistol tip. And we get into Saturday midday. We see a rain snow mix Saturday night. We start to see the rain snow combo encompass most of Idaho and into Jackson where it's a little deeper over that way and then we get into Sunday morning at about one o'clock. Are you watching this? Because this is this is where things are really going to start falling out for us and we could see up to a foot of snow in our area and we'll see continued snow showers as we push on through Saturday and Sunday afternoon. So that's how it shakes out. All right, here is your local news eight day forecast for your neighborhood. It's going to be 66 in Afton, 71 in Malad. So we're hitting record high or close to record high temperatures. I don't know if we're going to get there or not because of the cloud cover into the upper highlands and into the Teton Valley. 61 in Jackson. It'll be 57 in Yellowstone, 59 for Dubois, low to mid 60s for St. Anthony and Rexburg. And then we head over to Salmon where it'll be close to 70 today. Chalice, 70 degrees. It'll be in the lower 60s on into uh, Mackey and Arco, around 70 degrees from IF into the Golden Valley and 71 into Pocatello and 68 in American Falls. Look at that beautiful sun to start with today. Your eight day forecast from Local News 8 has us with sun today. It'll get warmer as we head toward tomorrow and we warm up before we storm up. But with the cloud cover, not sure that that's going to be a record setting temp, but those winds will pick up and you see we've got some rain and then a change over to snow into Sunday and then the temperatures really drop down at night next week and we've got another front that'll be here and we're going to start feeling more like winter around here. You ready to hear Christmas music or eat a turkey leg? Pocatello 70s for the next couple of days and it'll be right around 62 for Saturday and we'll be in the 50% ranking for snow on into Sunday with temperatures right there in the 30s. Blackfoot, same story. Chilly conditions into next week will be in the teens overnight. Rexburg, good looking start to the day. Upper 60s by tomorrow and rain, then snow and 30s into next week. And of course, you should download our app before this winter weather hits and that way you can keep up with it anytime, anywhere and you can send us photos too. We'll be in the 50s down to the 30s in Salmon with the winds picking up and you get the rain first. Jackson 60s and then we see a good chance of rain turning to snow into Sunday and temps will be right there in the freezing zone. Here's your assignment. Share the last video you recorded on your phone with us. Hashtag random 208-534-9957. You can, you can just you know, send it straight to me at jeff.roper at localnews8.com.